the fifth episode of the official live action adaptation of the critically acclaimed and best selling Naughty Dog video game, The Last of Us is out. The fourth episode took us to a new location in Kansas where Joel and Ellie had to face a new danger as a new rebel faction called the Hunters took over the quarantine zone as the duo was on their way to Wyoming. The Hunters are now after them thinking they are the associates of one of their sworn enemies. We will talk about the episode, try to explain the ending, discuss all the easter eggs that we have managed to spot and predict the next episode but before that let me give you an overview of the HBO Max series so far. Anyway, if you don't want exposure to any important plot points and character details from the episode and video game, I suggest you watch the 5th episode first and then check out this video. So with a major spoiler warning, let's jump straight into the video. After Tessa's sacrifice to save Joel and Ellie, we see the entire journey of Bill and Frank's life after the outbreak inside their makeshift castle in Lincoln. And as Bill and Frank commit a peaceful suicide to be together forever, Joel and Ellie reach them and get their hands on the huge inheritance that Bill and Frank left for them. After taking Bill's truck, they left to find Tommy, the duo gets attacked and looted by the hunters for the supplies and they kill a few of the members. The hunters are in search of an ex federal agent named Henry and his brother Sam and they think that Joel and Ellie are their associates. The duo takes shelter in a skyscraper when Henry and Sam confront them in their sleep. The episode is titled Ennio and Sarai which is a direct reference to Ellie's favorite catchphrase from a comic book run. We also see her mentioning that line later in the episode. Endure. Survive. At the beginning of the episode, we find Henry hiding with his deaf and mute younger brother Sam in the midst of a protest that gets violent, and a group of captured potential informants of Fedra is questioned by Kathleen. The scene is the aftermath of the Fedra eradication from Kansas by the resistance which was led by Kathleen. We see them mercilessly killing Fedra agents and acquiring their high-tech gear. She asks the captured individuals about the whereabouts of Henry and one of them tells her that he is with a man named Dr. Elsie. He is the doctor that Kathleen murdered in the previous episode. Perry, Kathleen's henchman, isn't so convinced that sending her people on a vengeance mission is the best use of their time but Kathleen has her own vengeful motivations for this irrational act. The makers have previously said that Kathleen's character is based on Madame Defarge from A Tale of Two Cities who is the embodiment of the bloodlust of revolution. Additionally, in the video game, Tommy Joel's brother is voiced by the same actor that plays Perry. She then commands Perry to execute every prisoner and burn their corpses to the ground. Then we see Henry and Sam taking shelter inside Dr. Edelstein's attic and Henry helps Sam color the walls with crayons to decorate the ugly place where they are both holed up because they are hiding from the murderous Kathleen. Henry paints his brother's face to make him look like a superhero and he tries really hard to make his brother overcome his fears. But when the kind doctor doesn't come for a few days straight into their hideout, they assume that he is dead. And it is true as we have seen Kathleen execute him in the last episode. They have almost zero supplies and their emptied out food cans were seen in the last episode too in building Sam's paintings. So far it has been almost 10 to 12 days since Fedra fell in Kansas and now they are ready to move on. Before getting out, they saw a desperate Joel fighting the hunters group of the resistance which gave him the motivation to join hands with Joel. We fast forward to the surprise ambush of Joel and Ellie. After assuring them that Henry just wants to talk, the four of them sit and eat together in a tense setting. Henry promises he can help them leave the city and he subsequently tells Joe his entire story. Henry claims he was worse than the terrible federal government soldiers, adding he was a collaborator. Joel nearly withdraws due to the fact that he doesn't work with the rats, but Henry convinces him that they need each other if they are going to get out of Kansas City alive. In the game, Henry is hiding with his brother because the hunters don't like children as they slow their pace and drag them down. But in the series, Henry's motivation is to help his deaf and mute brother who is suffering from leukemia. To treat him, he even sold out the previous leader of the resistance, Michael Kathleen's brother, to the military in exchange for vital medicines for his treatment. And that is why hunting him down is a top priority for Kathleen. In the game, the character Kathleen, or a proper leader of the hunters at large from Pittsburgh, were missing. So introducing her was a great choice on the maker's part, but after accomplishing her goals, Kathleen's motivation changes and she becomes the very thing she fought against. Burn the bodies, it's faster. 
Henry reveals what his actual plans for escaping the city is. Instead of just stating tunnels out loud, Henry has Sam write the word on his small dry erase board to describe his strategy to Joel, which shows his love for theatrics. He also mentions that Fedra used to imprison the infected underneath the city in the tunnels, so the hunters now avoid going there. After reaching there, they find a small room probably designed for children and they wait there for sundown. Inside the room, we see Ellie and Sam discuss their favorite comic book run, Savage Starlight, which was directly taken from the game. Ellie gets her favorite catchphrase from it, which is Endure and Survive. Endure and Survive. They also played soccer for a while, which was also present in the game. Okay. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Joel sits there and watches her play as for him it is a reminder of his now deceased daughter Sarah who was also interested in the sport. On the wall Joel finds a note from a character named Ish which is an easter egg from the video. In the game while passing by the school Joel finds a letter from Ish that reads that he's going out for a few months but the world has turned into a complete mess as infected and non-infected are at each other's throats. He also exclaims that he's shocked to be alive so far. He writes that this place is ideal for him to hide as it has only one entrance and he can easily lose someone off his trail as the place is like a maze. He wants to wait under the tunnel until everything on the surface wall sorts itself. According to the makers, this is a homage to the character Isherwood Williams from the post-apocalyptic novel Earth Abides by George R. Stewart. Based on the picture in the episode, it seems Ish was appointed to protect the children after the outbreak but eventually failed and is a reminder to Joel and Henry of what is at stake. Joel and Henry are somewhat parallel to each other as Henry chose his brother's life over many others in the QZ. Similarly, in the near future, Joel will have to make one such decision. After getting out, they encounter a sharpshooter who holds their movement for a bit. Joel goes around the building and kills the sniper. He also finds out that he is one of Kathleen's men. Then we see that Ellie, Henry and Sam are being pursued by a massive tank and Joel uses the sniper's gun to kill the driver from a distance. Then Kathleen's rebel brigade arrives and pulls up. This scene is almost similar to the video game. The only difference is the presence of the infected, its setting and the time of the day. Kathleen wants to kill Henry because he ratted his brother out. In a previous scene, we saw that she was visiting her old house where she told Perry how her brother Michael asked her to forgive Henry. But her character is stuck in the past and wants nothing more than to see Henry suffer. She asks him to surrender but when Henry asks for his brother's safe passage, she refuses as according to her, the kids are not worth saving. Suddenly, a hole opens up in the ground releasing all the imprisoned infected. One of them is a freaking bloater who rips people in half. Unlike the game, they don't seem to have the power to throw mycotoxin bombs and spread spores into the air. But they do have a thick armor-like fungal growth on their bodies that makes them invincible to gunshots. Ellie and Joel help Henry and Sam get out of a tight situation but then suddenly Kathleen confronts them. But she gets killed by a young infected which symbolizes that it wouldn't have happened if she had learned to move on rather than pursuing a senseless vendetta. Also this might be the maker's way of delivering justice to her previous statement on kids. The team of survivors reaches a nearby abandoned motel where Joel invites Henry to come with them to Wyoming with Sam. And Sam and Ellie talk about their fears. The scene plays out almost exactly as it was in the video game but not with spoken words and on the dry erase board. Scorpions are pretty creepy. Scorpions. I'm scared of ending up alone. Then Sam shows Ellie that he got infected and the knife girl tries to save him with her blood. This part was not present in the video game. In the morning, Ellie gets attacked by an infected Sam and then the rest of it plays out quite similarly to the source material. Damn! What the hell? <laughs> That's my fucking brother! The reason Henry kills himself after killing his beloved and now infected brother is that he's unable to make any sense of the turn of events. In a previous scene, Edelstein tried to make him understand the uncertainty and meaninglessness of life, but he was unable to grasp it at that point. And when their struggles so far result in absolutely nothing, he loses his purpose for living. After burying them, the duo moves on their way to Wyoming by foot, just like the silhouetted figures from the intro. And before leaving, Ellie wrote I am sorry on the dry erase board showing her helplessness. But the speed with which she moves on from the situation suggests that it is not the first time she has lost someone dear to her.
The fifth episode is a great addition to this already hit and critically acclaimed HBO Max series. The episode is well written and directed, with an enchanting and menacing performance by Melanie Linsky as Kathleen, Lamar Johnson as Henry and all the other actors. The writer of the episode Craig Mazin takes a bit of liberty with the source material by exploring how the violent nature of an average human being comes to the surface when the chips are down and how moving on is the best option for survival. In the next episode, we will probably reach Wyoming along with our protagonist and through Tommy and some other characters, Ellie and we will get to know some dark stuff about Joel's past life. The next episode will be released on February 19, 2023. Hey, 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 thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching the fifth episode of The Last of Us. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of this HBO series. See you at the next one. And for the timing, we are signing off. Aloha, anyway, survive, and I'll be back.